Hey everyone, so let's talk about this new Amazon Fire Max 11 stylus pen. You can see here. So first off, this costs $35 here in the US. And I don't know if it's actually worth $35. So with this, you get, of course, you have a nice precise bit there. You do have a button right there. The bottom of this thing screws out and on very very easy it does have a 4a battery i don't know how to say that actual battery's name uh, but a 4a battery uh, comes with it it goes into here and then you are good to go as soon as you have the battery put in you also get an extra nib and then you also get the removal tool for that along with some instructions uh, which they actually, they actually tell you pretty much how to get rid of and put in the new tip or nib on there. So the stylus itself can be used, of course, like your finger or like any other type of stylus. So you can navigate around your Max 11. It can also be used to highlight. Show that again on the actual web page here. Uh, so. If you press in the button here, you can highlight things, but it does seem a little bit off. So like I am trying to highlight where the E is and it keeps going to the M. So it is a little bit off from what I'm trying to get. Uh, of course, if you tap and hold without hitting that button, you can highlight stuff as well, just like you could with your finger. Uh, this is just supposed to be a bit more precise, so you can get in in between words. It just it doesn't always want to go right where you want it to go, uh, which is a little bit annoying. Again, you can use it to navigate through your tablet here. Once you highlight something, you of course can copy, share, select, web search, and it'll do that. Going into a sketch pad here, uh, it has some pretty big lag to it. So we're on there. Hopefully y'all can see how much of a lag there is behind that. Uh, so it is a little bit laggy, or quite a bit laggy. If you press and hold it, or I should say, it does have pressure sensitivity. So if you press down, the harder you press down, the darker your lines will be. The less you press down, the lighter your lines will be. So that is quite cool. I think it has over like 4,000 uh, pr pressure sensitivities to it, levels of pressure sensitivity. So like that is quite cool. But again, there is some pretty big lag there. So this might be a bit easier to see with a darker type tool, and especially if you start going faster. Uh, so again, I'm not an artist by any means. I can barely draw a stick figure, but even to me, this is annoying. It just, there is some lag there. So again, this thing does cost $35. I mean, I know it's not crazy expensive, but it's also not crazy cheap. There seems to be no type of gestures with it like you could get with other types of styluses, such as the Samsung S Pen. Uh, so like with the S Pen, you can do different things. You can like scroll through it without touching the display. I uh, do different things like that. This, there are no gestures that I can tell. And the only thing I can really tell that we can do with this, this uh, button here, and y'all can correct me if I'm wrong on this, is highlight stuff, which if you are, which now it's not even working. Now it's just not even working right. Uh, again, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but from what I can tell, that is about all it does. So it is basically just a pretty basic stylus with a button that works with this guy. Uh, and then it's supposed to be a bit more precise, but you can see the leg with it makes it not so precise. So 35 bucks, I don't know if it's really worth it. To me, I would say it's not really worth it. Uh, one nice thing it does do though, 
is here is your magnet, which is supposed to be for your keyboard. This does have a flat end on it, which is where your button is. The rest is rounded, so which is pretty nice. It does feel nice in the hands. And you can connect it to your device, which is pretty cool. And it's on the side of your device. Or it also connects to the bottom of your device as well. And it's on there pretty well. If you smack it on something, it probably will come off. But it is on there nicely. And depending on where you put it on the side, it might hang off a little bit. So again, to me, this would not really be worth buying. There are other alternatives out there that do basically what this does. Uh, this might work a little bit better than some of the cheaper options on Amazon. Uh, if you really want a stylus, this may be your best bet for this device. Uh, otherwise, just buy yourself like a couple dollar one, very basic one. Uh, if you just want something very basic, uh, this is pretty basic in my opinion. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a good one. See you all next time. Goodbye.